So today on the Fairy Godmother Show, we are actually going to be talking about gratitude at work. Stay tuned. Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome to another episode of the Fairy Godmother Show. I'm your host, Lynn. And I am an abundant life and small business success coach. You see, I'm also a hypnotherapist, a professional fairy godmother, if you will, because I help people all over the world with access to the internet, create a personal and a professional life that they absolutely love quickly and easily. Hey guys, thank you so very, very much for watching this amazing episode of the Fairy Godmother Show. I really, really hope that this advice that I am giving you on how to live an abundant life is helping. Now, if you would like to show your appreciation, I accept good karma donations, and you can send that by PayPal. The link is in the description box below. And if you do send me one, thank you in advance. If this is your first time watching an episode of the Fairy Godmother Show, welcome, my friends. And if you're a return fan of the show, well... You have a place special in my heart. Either way, I'm really glad that you're all here. I am currently talking about how to have an abundant life right now, filled with all sorts of wonderful things like love, light, vibrant and radiant health, amazing relationships, financial prosperity, and more. Right now, before we go any farther, Make sure that you have subscribed and follow me so that you do not miss a single episode. I've also included links in the description and at the end of this video to other episodes of the Fairy Godmother Show that people have really, really found helpful. Make sure you check them out. Now, in today's episode of the Fairy Godmother Show, I'm going to be talking about gratitude at work. Guys, today is day 53. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's actually talk about a gra gratefulness practice that you can start doing right now today. And guys, it's going to be great gratitude at work because when you work gratefully, things change, okay? It's a really good feeling when someone says thank you. And saying thank you, I promise you, my friends, is very, very easy. So why is it that gratitude is often lacking in the workplace then? You see, gratitude is a basic human requirement after all. Given that a simple authentic thank you is actually a great motivator and it costs nothing, it is genuinely astonishing that more managers aren't thanking their staff more regularly. Unfortunately, there seems to be an attitude in some businesses that say thank you for, to their employees. It's not necessary because their employees are being paid. Guys, that is bullshittery. You always need to thank people for when they do a good job. Because I promise you, the evidence suggests that gratitude contributes to the kind of workplace where employees actually want to come to work and employee well-being and morale is high, which means it's going to increase your productivity. You see, researchers define application as the art of acknowledging the goodness in life. In other words, seeing the positive in events, experiences, or other people like our colleagues at work. 
Gratitude actually goes a step further. It recognizes how the positive things in our lives, like our success at work, are often due to forces outside of ourselves, particularly the efforts of other people. But this kind of thinking can seem countercultural in the realm of hierarchies and promotions, where everyone is trying to get ahead and may be reluctant to acknowledge their resilience or express emotions to their coworkers, right? Now, studies have shown over and over again, those employees who receive more gratitude in their daily work, in their performance, actually performed kinder acts that aren't part of their job and job description, such as filling in for colleagues and helping new recruits. This contributes hugely to a growing positive culture in the organization, and it creates an environment where employees are happy to go above and beyond. You see, employee engagement is a very hot topic, and many businesses are realizing the importance of growing a positive organizational culture. To create a better business culture, saying thank you and giving credit where credit is due is as is a very, very good place to start, my friends. You see, everyone wants a positive experience at work and to feel appreciated and recognized for their efforts. A thank you is a cost-free way of showing appreciation. It's not difficult to comprehend that in order to get true value from employees, they need to feel valued. The drive for wanting to do well stems largely from feeling acknowledged and appreciated. It really is as simple as that. According to research done by the London School of Economics, performance-related pay often does not encourage people to work harder. Actually, it's the opposite. You see, they tend to work less because they know that It's just a job. To change this, gratitude can actually be a better motivator than money. The positive em emotions felt when receiving thanks are very, very clear. Giving and receiving gratitude has been shown to boost mental and physical health. Gratitude improves relationships, leads to reprosticity, and it boosts self-esteem. Guys, gratitude is not only good for the person that's being thanked. You see, giving thanks is actually hugely beneficial to the person who is handing out the appreciation, as well as the recipient. <laughs> paying that is getting the attention because when you express gratitude it always puts you in a positive frame of mind right so cultivating gratitude has been shown to reduce stress hormones like cortisol by as much as 23 percent robert a emmons phd professor of psychology at the university of california actually thinks of gratitude as fertilizer for the mind, spreading connections and improving its functions in nearly every realm of experience. Now, Professor Emmons says that gratitude affects the body's biochemistry. It can lower blood pressure. pressure, improve immune functions, and have a positive impact on sleep. People practicing gratitude every single day also noted changes in their behavior, taking more exercise and making healthier food choices. Feeling gratitude also has the health benefits. You see, it's associated with better sleep, like I said earlier, but it also has decreased pain levels, reduced anxiety, depression, increased energy, and fosters a more positive outlook overall in life. 
all of which have implications for better performance and relationships in the workplace and at home. Guys, I promise you, gratitude is one of the foundations of employee engagement. All right, so let's actually talk today here about a gratefulness practice that you can start doing today. You see, work presents challenges for many of us, and yet it's a true privilege to be employed. Considering there are so many that are unable to find or keep work in spite of need. Dedicate a gratitude journal specifically to your job. And if you don't want to do an entire journal, guys, just do a page a week, okay? So dedicate a single page to your job every week in your gratitude journal. At the beginning of each workday, write one thing that makes you grateful for your job. When you find yourself struggling while on the clock, go back and read through your journal to remind yourself how important it is that you actually have a job. Guys, nobody wants to work for someone that is ungrateful. When people are not grateful, they become more concerned for others, and it sets up a positive energy in the workplace. So my journal prompt to you today is, how can you be more grateful at work? Once again, for your journal entry today is how can you be more grateful at work, okay? Now, comment down below, yes or no. Are you grateful for your job? Once again, comment down below, yes or no. Are you grateful for your job? You see, gratitude is going to make your business more profitable. You're going to be able to be more effective. Your employees will be more engaged. But that's the only reason, hang on, but if that's the only reason that you're doing it, I promise you, your employees are going to think you're using them. You've got to be authentic, guys. You have to genuinely want the best for your people. You see, gratitude isn't the only emotional skill that could be valuable to a modern business. We might also hope to build emotionally intelligent and empathic workplaces where employees practice compassion and forgiveness. Wouldn't that be amazing? I think it would be. You see, gratitude and kindness seem to form a positive loop in the workplace. Just as gratitude leads to altruistic behavior, research suggests that the opportunity to help others and serve a cause is one of the major sources of gratitude at the office. So, guys, remember, you can be grateful for what is going on at your job, even if it is the fact that you have a job, okay? The key is to practice your gratitude daily because that helps you get through those times when it doesn't seem so glamorous. Remember, you get what everybody else gets. You get a life. How you use it is up to you. Quit being a wallflower. Go out and live your dreams. 